let's learn how to plot square root of 2 and square root of 3 on the number line. This is a number line. We'll mark 0 here. Let this point be O. Next, we'll mark 1, 2 and 3 with equal distances. Each will be considered as one unit. Now, at the point 1, using your protractor, let's draw a perpendicular line. Now, we need this line to be of length 1 unit. So, take a compass and measure this distance with the center at 1. Draw an arc over the perpendicular line. Now, what we get is a perpendicular line with length 1 unit. Let this point be A. Now, we'll join OA. Since this is a right-angled triangle, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. Square of the hypotenuse will be the sum of squares of the other two sides. Here, the hypotenuse is OA and the two sides are one units each. So, we can say that OA square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square. OA square is 1 plus 1 which is 2. So, the length OA will become square root of 2. But wait! We are not done here. We need this length square root of 2 on the number line. So, with O as the center and OA as the radius, we'll draw an arc such that it cuts the number line. We'll mark this point as B. Now, OB will also be the same length as OA. So, the point B is square root of 2. Next, we'll plot square root of 3. Before that, we'll remember that the length OB is square root of 2 units. Now let's begin. First step, keep your protractor at point B and draw a perpendicular line. Again, we need this line to be of length 1 unit. So, with B as the center and radius of 1 unit, we'll draw an arc cutting the perpendicular line at point C. So, BC is 1 unit. Next, let's join the points O and C. Now we are back to our Pythagoras theorem. Triangle OCB is a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is OC. So according to the theorem, we have OC square is equal to OB square plus 
BC square. We already know that the length OB is square root of 2 and the length BC is 1 unit. So we have OC square is equal to square root of 2 the whole square plus 1 square. This becomes 2 plus 1 which is 3. Since OC square is 3, OC will be square root of 3 which means that the length of this hypotenuse is square root of 3 units. But we have to plot this on our number line. So we'll keep the center at O and the radius as OC and draw an arc such that it cuts the number line at point D. The length OD now is same as the length OC. Both are square root of 3. So the point D represents square root of 3 units. If this video has helped you to understand these concepts, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.